we're going to talk about biochar. It was something that the that you subscribers actually talked about when we were wanting to do uh, things with uh, plant grapes, our vineyard. So we looked up a few things. Finally got some good information from uh, Big Family Homestead. And what we've done is we've taken some hardwood. This is almost all oak or hickory. We've cut it down small and jammed it into this. All we have is a, a five gallon bucket. I'm gonna take this five gallon bucket now. I'm gonna take it and flip it over as quick as I can. So that way, there we go. So no airs. Air's gonna get in there. Now I'm gonna set these rocks up. This gives me my gap that I need for the 55 gallon drum. We don't have a bottom on ours, so we're just using this as a spacer. <coughs> we're take this now and we just got some some hay that we had, just some dry hay sitting around. This will help be a good, good ignition source. And now, all these little things, this is a, there's a local a manufacturer in the area that has all these stakes. These are just pine, you know, pieces of pine. But they give this to you for free. So we go by there every so often and have it. And in this case, it's been a, it's been a huge blessing because on such a short notice, we were able to, you know, have all this material available to start working on this biochar. So we're gonna go ahead and load a little bit more in. And in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and light it up. Little torch going. And get the hay to go. Maybe I should have went in from the bottom. There we go. Now all we're going to do is gonna do because our buckets so small I don't know if you need to do it more or less but we'll do about three burns so we'll fill this up about three times and you'll see it'll actually get pretty high take just a little bit more of this sprinkle it down in here just however it goes and here we go it's gonna start taking off and boy it gets hot So from what I understand, the premise here is what uh, what happens is that uh, so we're creating charcoal, but we're creating charcoal, and by actually creating that heat around it, it actually burns off the gas that's inside. I think there's some folks that are actually using that gas to uh, to create an alternative fuel for propane. So who knows? Some maybe someday on the homestead we'll try that. But for right now, for us, it's just exciting to have the biochar for the garden. Boy, this fire's hot. This is uh, this is our third burn. Just waiting for it to uh, die down. Once we get to just ash, and then we will uh, we'll be taking it apart and showing you how we do that. Again, we're trying to rush this just a little bit faster than normal because we're trying to get the biochar out uh, as quick as we can so we can get the grapes in the ground. Okay, so Luke and I have been uh, been throwing wood in here and burning it. We're just using the pine pine wood, which will you know you saw earlier in the video. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take lift this off and show you what it looks like. So what we've done here is we just had a metal five gallon pail that you saw earlier. It was packed with wood. We've had some stones that kept it up off the ground and the and I think normal circumstances from uh, watching the big family homestead, this is where we, we got this information for making the biochar. I uh, want to go ahead and, you know, we pull these rocks out. That gives us our spacing. And uh, so what we're trying to do is we're rushing the situation a little bit because we're trying to get this biochar ready to roll um, and inoculated with sheep poop as quick as we possibly can because we've got grapes that we got here on the homestead. 
and didn't really understand that biochar is a couple day process. So we're trying to get three batches made today, inoculated and go through. So I'm pulling these logs or pulling these uh, pieces of rock out and then in a second here we'll scoop up the rest of the embers, throw it in the fire pit behind and uh, you know and then this will be and then from there we'll show you what we're doing with the sheep poop. Look at that, we've got our biochar. So we are set now. So now we're gonna take it, dump it back over in this bucket, smash as much down in here as we can. A few pieces, a few pieces didn't turn out 100%. I think if we kept it on there longer, it probably would have worked. But I'll show you how we smash it down. Simple. Take a sledgehammer. Just knock it down. Pieces that don't want to bust just go into there. So now we essentially have charcoal, and now we're taking our charcoal and turn it into little itty bitty pieces. There's that. Now we got another bucket. Already fill it full of water. Take this because it's probably a little hot. Here it's sizzling. And before it burns through the bucket, mix it up. Get it right down in there. Pulling that down. Now we're getting ready to get the rest of this scooped up in here and we'll show you what we're going to do when we're done. Here's our bucket that we're using. So we've taken one scoop, sheet manure, throwing in our biochar that we started with. Now I've got some more. It's still in here nice and warm. I'm kind of waiting for. And I'm gonna mix this in. So I think if you could wait overnight and let it sit, I'm sure those bigger chunks that we had in there would have probably broken down a little bit more. You can see, we do have a few bigger pieces, but overall, it's broken down into some really nice pieces, as far as size-wise. That manure in there, it's gonna help, from what I understand, again, from Big Family Homestead, this is gonna help inoculate it. I think he uses worm castings, but around our homestead, we use quite a bit of sheep manure. So, this is another part that we're using for the grapes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes I've been stirring it around. Added a little more water. So I'd say the parts that I have here, I have probably four gallons of water, probably a pound and a half of sheep manure, and then equivalent as far as the charcoal is probably about three gallons that are kind of cr crushed or compressed. And that's what our, uh, our little piece is. And now we're just putting it in uh, buckets. So we're gonna put it in a six gallon bucket. And after that, we're just gonna let it sit for hopefully two or three days. And then we're gonna go ahead and use it for the grapes. So thank you so much for watching.
please subscribe and share with your friends. I also just want to give a big shout out to uh, Big Family Homestead. Appreciate watching their video. They made it simple and easy for us to follow. So, uh, so thank you for that. Hello.